We have four butterflies that we are about to release. Unfortunately, one of them didn't make it. It got halfway out of its cocoon, but not all the way. I was concerned because one of the butterflies, uh, or chrysalis, I guess, made its chrysalis so close they were attached, and I wonder if some strings got around it, um, some of the silk strings they spin, but anyway, came partially out, but it never came all the way out. So we lost one, but we have four strong, healthy butterflies that we are going to release, and it's so exciting. <music> butterfly kit before I highly recommend it for um, homeschool or just for fun for the kids to watch it doesn't take much work you get it in and you just have to kind of watch them and pay attention to what days they turn into a chrysalis so you can transfer them over to the butterfly house and once they come out you just uh, feed them until you release them and that's pretty much it um, this is our second year that we've done the butterfly kit and we'll probably do it again next year Hopefully next year we can have a butterfly garden to release them to. We tried to this year, but we're not successful. Um, but they also have, we got ours from Insect Lore, and they also have ants kits, which we've done that before. They have ladybugs and praying mantis kits as well. So if you have a child who's interested in bugs or you want to learn more about any of those things, I highly recommend them. And I'm going to put the link below. <laughs> 